Don't make the mistake of mixing up transform and transform selection. They have similar names, but their purpose is totally different. I'm starting with this scrapbook template, and it has a rectangle down here at the corner that I'd like to cut a little notch out of. Typically, you would do that with the rectangular marquee tool. So I'm going to go ahead and get that tool with a new selection icon active, and the feather is set to zero, and the aspect or style is set to normal. So what I want to do is I need to make sure that that rectangle is active in the Layers panel, and then click and drag out a selection on the document. Now in order to cut that notch out of the end, I need to rotate my selection. If I were to simply transform, which is the same thing as free transform, by using the shortcut of Control or Command T, and then rotate from a corner handle of the bounding box, you can see that that is going to cut those pixels off of the end of that rectangle, which is not what I'm wanting. I wanted to cut a notch out. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that, and then we'll be back to the selection outline. To transform just a selection, not the pixels inside the selection, right click in Windows or control click on a Mac inside the selection outline and choose transform selection. Not free transform, but transform selection. Now, once again, you do have that bounding box just like before, but this time when I hover my cursor over the corner handle of that bounding box and then click and drag in a circular motion, it's only going to change the selection, not the pixels inside the selection. So I'm going to place the rotation about right there. That's about 45 degrees. And once you have that bounding box, the same principles of transforming apply. So for example, I can hold down the control key in Windows or the command key on a Mac and click and drag inward on just one of those corner handles. And you can see how that's going to skew the selection. I'll click the check mark to commit the change. And again, notice that it only transformed the shape of the selection, not the pixels within the selection. So because I still have the selection tool, I can click and drag inside that selection to move it around. And I've positioned it over that rectangle. Now when I press the backspace key in Windows or the delete key on a Mac, it's going to remove those pixels and then I'll deselect. And that's exactly what I was going for. So to review, transform or free transform will transform the pixels inside a selection, but transform selection only transforms the selection, not the pixels inside of it. Here's how my scrapbook page turned out after using the template that I showed you before. I love the character that the little notch adds to the flag. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to our channel. This has been Jen White with Digital Scrapper. We help you get your stories told.